Well, despite the ongoing writer strike, we know the film industry is big business. Think of the many shoots here in Western New York, from A Quiet Place 2 and Marshall to The First Purge and Nightmare Alley. And now New York State is dramatically increasing its film tax credit from $420 million a year all the way up to $700 million now. Now the extra funding, that was in the recently passed budgets. Now the credit goes from 25% up to 30%, which will make New York more competitive with other states trying to lure productions here. Now there's also a 10% bonus for upstate shoots, so to sweeten the pot even more than what films and shows would get in New York City. Two on your side's Kelly Dudzik takes us to Buffalo Filmworks to see how this tax credit could impact the largest studio in our region and Western New York as a whole. These new tax incentives will help places like Buffalo Filmworks, where we are right now, get more movies to shoot here in Western New York. With the state opening up hundreds of millions of dollars in additional tax incentives to the film industry, Western New York film industry insiders are optimistic. The, the true bump in Buffalo is going to be 40% in upstate New York, so it's going to allow us to compete with other states like Georgia and New Jersey, who we've been losing films to consistently throughout the past couple of years because of the reduction in the tax credit here and it being much lower than the other states. Jennifer O'Neill with Buffalo Filmworks says this will be good for the economy. It's been pretty difficult seeing all the production leaving New York. You know, even the city's been seeing it a lot. Um, all the productions are going over across the river to New Jersey. And I know a lot of the working crew in New York have been seeing it too. There's a lot of people in the film industry right now that are located in New York that are either unemployed or they have to leave their families to go to work because they can't get any jobs here in New York State. Today, a group of unions representing film and TV workers issued a statement applauding the changes, saying in 2019 and 2020, film productions brought more than 114,000 direct and indirect jobs to the state. Buffalo Niagara Film Commissioner Tim well, Clark thinks it's new, all worth um, it. What would you say to people who are like, oh, why are you giving Hollywood a tax break? Yeah, that's always this weird thing uh, that comes up, and it's, uh, it is uh, controversial uh, indeed, but the benefits uh, really work in Western New York. I, you know, I'm not sure if it, uh, about New York City where so much is being shot, but I tell you, it's very tangible here. You see, um, you know, uh, people who never thought they'd be working in this kind of an in industry in this sort of town, and they're making a living and going home every night and putting their head on their pillow. So it's a pretty, pretty decent way of uh, making a living. So if you want to check out the incentives for yourself included in the budget, I'm posting a link for you on WGRZ.com. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.